Hi everyone and welcome back. So today I'd like to talk about some of my minimalist goals for the year of 2019. I thought this would be a nice video and hopefully some of you can get some ideas from this video. Everyone's goals will be different because you just have to sort of uh, take into account your current lifestyle and um, see how you want to form your goals based off of that and what you would like to change and what you would like to minimize. But these are my five goals based off of my lifestyle. So let's go ahead and get started. The first one is no buying new makeup for the year 2019. Like for the entire year, I do not want to buy any new makeup. Now this used to be a beauty channel, so you can just imagine how much stuff I had. So when I decluttered my space, I took all of my makeup that I had that was still uh, in good condition and that I'm still like to use and put it all in a shoe box so I have a ton of it and actually every morning when I do my makeup before going to work or before going outside or anything like that on the weekends I sit in front of the shoe box and I go through whatever makeup I have and I just play around with it and use this stuff so I have plenty here makeup is something that is extremely expensive and um, you know when you're sort of addicted to it you can spend a lot of money mindlessly on it and it changes every year because it gets trendy but there are some things that are just like things that you can use every day and a lot of my things are like that so I figured why spend any more money on stuff in 2019 uh, so I'm very actually very very excited about this particular goal because I feel like it's gonna save me a ton of money and it's gonna uh, you know be fun because I'll get to play around with a lot of the stuff I have so I do not want to spend a single penny on new makeup stuff for the year 2019 so that is my first goal my second goal is to note down all of my expenses and all my expenses apart from food because I don't want to count that I want to basically see how much money I spend on stuff now the goal is not to spend any but or much but you know sometimes life gets in the way just so so I can prevent myself from doing that I want to start noting all of my expenses so every day I want to make it a practice when I come home um, in the evening you know take out all my bills for that day and then note down how much I spent and on what and it could be anything right it could be on gas or some gift that I had to buy for somebody else or just something that was a necessity and that broke down so anything like that and um, you can basically use any notebook or whatever you have I'm just gonna use a planner it's a simple planner um, and basically this is easier for me because it's broken down into days of the year so every day I can just note down whatever my expenses were for that particular day in this book and um, hopefully my goal is to see how much I'm spending what I'm spending on and then cut that down and save more so you know my future can be better so that's my second goal my third goal is to go digital with my books now I love reading, it's something that I do often and it brings me a lot of joy. But I hoard books and that was one of my biggest problems when I was decluttering, was letting go of books and I just had so many and it was also really really annoying to get rid of all those books, you know, whether I was donating or uh, giving them to somebody, it was just like packing it and lugging it all in my car and it was painful and I never want to do that again. So I want to go ahead and get more books on my Kindle and also some audiobooks which I can listen to during my commute um, and stuff like that. I feel like if I really want a physical book then I can go to my local library and check out a book um, if I feel the need to do that. But that is one of my biggest goals of 2019 is not to buy physical books. They're expensive. They're more expensive than the digital version and also they take up a lot of space and um, yeah that, that's gonna be a little bit difficult but I feel like I can do it. So that's gonna be my goal number three. Goal number four is visiting my I just can't drawer once a month. Now I just can't drawer is a drawer I gave to myself while I was decluttering my space. There were things that I just couldn't let go at that time and it's not like they were bringing value to my life or they brought me joy. It's just I, for some weird reason I just couldn't let them go. Whether it was the fact that you know I spent a lot of money on them and you know it, it just felt like wasteful to like get rid of those things uh, and I couldn't sell them for a higher or a better price 
or things that were given to me by people uh, there were gifts and they were meaningful and I love those people just like little little things like those I just couldn't let go I allowed myself to put my, them in one drawer so I couldn't have more than the drawer full so I have a I just can't drawer right now just filled with stuff so every month I want to revisit that drawer and see what I can do with that stuff and slowly um, you know get rid of it or find you know places or homes for those things um, and the reason why I'm including that in my goals is because I don't want that stuff to just be forgotten and stay in there which it could happen over time so I want to make a uh, you know like um, the goal to sort of go and visit that drawer at least once a month and see what i can do with those things because i feel like you know i will be changing a lot so it'll hopefully become easier for me to let go of some of those things or to sell them off or to give them away um so that is going to be another goal of mine which will be fun i want to i want to kind of you know take pictures of the drawer as it was like in the beginning and then maybe every month take a different picture to see how I was able to get rid of the stuff. So that's another goal of mine. And the last and the fifth goal is to focus more on wellness. And this has been something that has been a little difficult for me. I have a very stressful uh, corporate job. I have also have personal hobbies that I wanna you know, uh, practice to better myself. That I have my one-on-one -on -one relationship with my loved ones, which I want to give you know time and attention to, so they don't fall apart. So with all these things happening, I don't really give much time to my personal wellness, and you know because of that, my health suffers and my mind is cluttered. And um, you know I want to focus on myself to kind of um, better myself and. Um, so I can take a better care of my mind and my body so I can be a better service to those I love. So that is something that is going to be big for me in 2019. And in order to stick to the wellness goal, I'm going to, you know, hopefully make a one wellness video a week just um, talking about what I've done to focus on wellness for myself what I'm going to do and how those things are benefiting my life. I feel like this is a good way for me to stay on top of that. Otherwise, I would just fall off the wagon and just go on about my life as I am doing right now. So those are my five goals for the year 2019. I hope this video was helpful. If you have some goals of yours, please do let me know and share them down below. I'm also going to write these goals down um, on a piece of paper or a whiteboard, whatever I have around and keep it in front of me where I can see it on a daily basis because for me personally, if I am um, looking at my goals, if I have reminders, I will stay on top of them. Otherwise, I will probably forget because I will be doing my daily to-do list and just checking things off. So these are my goals um, and do let me know yours and I'll see you guys again next time. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye for now.